How to design a roof truss in quick structure. Here is the roof truss that will be used as example. Note that it already has point loading, which was manually calculated. However, quick structure can also generate point loadings. I will post a separate video on that later on. This is the same roof truss drawn in AutoCAD. Note the grid lines and dimension. It is usually easier to model trusses using grid lines. Now let's head over to quick structure and begin modeling. First start by drawing grid lines. Go to steel structures and select object snap. User defined grid only. To draw the first grid line, go to tools. Then drawing grid properties. Edit X axis grid. Create new drawing grid. Click add and enter first starting X axis grid line at 2000 millimeters from point zero. Click add again, then enter the next X axis grid line at 4000 millimeters. Repeat the same process and enter grid lines at 6,000, 8,000, and 10,000 millimeters. Click OK. Go back to Drawing Grid Properties. Then, Edit Y Axis Grid. Click Add. Enter first starting Y Axis Grid line at 2,000 millimeters from point zero. Click Add again and enter the next y-axis grid line at 3500 millimeters. Repeat the same process and enter the final y-grid line at 5000 millimeters. Click OK and the grid lines are generated. Go to steel structures and click elements. To enter the first truss element, click the node at the bottom left end and drag to the node at the bottom center, then click to enter the first element, E1. Similarly, enter the remaining element to complete the modeling. Next is to insert point loadings as shown. Click Insert point load. Then click the topmost node on the truss. Drag upwards to a convenient location. Click again. Go to object properties and enter a point load value of 8.72 kN. Similarly, enter the remaining loadings. Next, insert supports. Insert a pin support at the left bottom end of the truss and a roller support at the right end. To insert pin support, click Insert Support. Click on the left bottom node, then drag down to a convenient location, then click again. Go to Object Properties and change support type to Pin Support. Similarly, insert roller support at the bottom right end of the truss. To analyze the truss, click Truss Analysis. To check analysis, click any truss element. Go to Object Properties and check Analyze Truss. Design of tension members. To design, for example, the tension member E1, Click Steel Truss Section Design. Select Element 1. Confirm that the member is in tension under Steel Element Properties. Under Steel Section Type, select Equal Angle. And under Section Designation, select 90 times 90 times 8. Under Steel Element Section Properties, check that the section is adequate. You are free to experiment with other section types. You can design the remaining tension members in similar fashion. 
you can also match design properties. For instance, to make the design of E1 the same as E5, select E1, then check E5 and click Match Design Properties. Design of Compression Members To complete the design of compression members, you need to use the slenderness value for a chosen steel section and obtain compression strength value PC from table 23 and 24 of BS5950 code. For instance, to design member E3, click it and check that the member is in compression. Click Steel Truss Section Design. Select Element 3. Under Steel se Section Type, select Equal Angle. And under Section Designation, select 90 times 90 times 6. Under Steel Element Section Properties, use the Compressive Member Slenderless Value of 140 to obtain Compressive Strength PC from Table 24 of BS5950 code. In this case, it's 76. Enter this value in the Compressive Strength box under Steel Element Section Properties. The member is now designed. Feel free to experiment with other section types. Design other compressive members in similar fashion. Match properties of similar elements. Post analysis and design. After analysis and design, you can obtain a lot of results. Click show forces to show all forces acting on each member after analysis. Click truss detailing and then click show truss element design slash section properties table to generate drawings. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel.